Uh, hello, YouTubers. Uh, okay, no doubt you are watching this video because you are trying to figure out how to bypass the parking brake on the Pioneer AVH 4100 next. Alright, so basically, um, the reason you're having a hard time is because it requires what's called um, a, du a double pulse. Okay, what that means effectively is uh, when you have the parking brake wire connected to the parking brake, you have to set the brake, release the brake, and set the brake again. Uh, that way it gives the correct signal and uh, you can watch videos while you drive or whatever. Now there are other videos out there where people are buying the module. It's a bypass module. You can buy it from other, you know, online cataloging, auctioning sites, what have you. Okay, there's people using relays and whatever the case may be. Okay, what I found is a very simple, easy to use switch. Right. As you can see right now, the unit is off. I apologize about the glare, but it is dark, and I should probably do this video when it's light. But there you see the unit is off. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn this on for you. Oh, before I do that, on the other AVH models and the uh, AVIC models, there's what's called the fourth quadrant trick. Basically, half inch up, half inch in, you press and hold on the screen for 10 to 15 seconds, a little box shows up here. It says set on. Okay, that bypasses the uh, parking brake module. Alright. Does not work on the 4100 NEX, as no doubt, of, undoubtedly, you have already discovered. Alright, so let me go ahead and turn this on for you. Alright. It's on. Go ahead and go to disk. Alright. Takes a second to read the disk. All right, now you can see it's saying caution, viewing in the front seat, blah, 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 blah. It gives you directions right here. One, apply, two, release, three, apply again, okay? Now, as you can see, boom, 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 no video, parking brake is off. Let me go ahead and set the parking brake. Doesn't make a difference, as you can see, all right? So what I did is I hooked up a simple two-way little toggle, all right? It's just a simple push button switch. It clicks and goes. And I hit it in here so it's out of the way. All it is is it mimics that double pulse function. So you press it, you get that, and you release it. All right? That comes back up, but you can see that the OK button is now activated. Go ahead and push that. Now you can watch video. Park and brake is set. I'll go ahead and release it guess what you can still watch video okay so it's a really simple um, it's a really simple trick well not really a trick it's a really simple bypass it doesn't cost you a whole lot if you have simple uh, electronic know-how it's very easy to maneuver all right so <clears throat> basically you have to make sure that you have two prongs okay and those two prongs, uh, one of them is going to be for the, on the Pioneer, it's a green wire. So that will be your parking brake wire. It goes on one side, and then you just use a piece of wire and you find yourself a grounded source. Um, I own a 2009 Mercury Milan. I have a grounded source back here behind the clock. Okay, so I hooked my ground to the clock. All right, which doesn't interfere when I turn my lights on or anything like that. All right. Um, and then that's it. Then you just need to find a spot to, to mount your switch. I mean, you can mount it up in front here. You can mount it here. Wherever you want to mount it. I decided to mount it up here in that little cubby hole so it's out of the way. And that doesn't interfere with anything either. I can go ahead and close this down. And we're all good to go. So, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave me a comment in the bottom, and I'll do my best to get back to them as soon as I can and give you some more pointers. All right, and you guys have a wonderful night.